My next guest, Susan Isaac, she got downright pissed off at God. Oh, Susan, good morning. She is a comedian, also author of the book, Angry Conversations with God. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, are, are you still upset with God this morning, Susan? I'm grateful to be alive. So you're, I am. you're better I'm now. I'm grateful to be awake. And to be awake. So you and yeah. God have reconciled, if you will, and this book essentially sets up um, you're having a therapy session. You and God are having issues with your relationship, mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. take God to therapy. I do. You know, I read a book that said that I should look at my relationship with God like it was a marriage, and I thought, well, then we definitely need to go to marriage counseling because we weren't getting along. <laughs> and, um, and I did. I think we all carry a voice inside our head of, of what God's like, and if we're having problems, if we actually vocalize that, we kind of get to see what our picture of God looks like. And my picture of God had been influenced by my growing up, by um, things I had heard at church and things that I had internalized. And when I and actually got and looked at that, I realized that oh. the God needed to, needed to change. Well, you have a, this, and we're going to show people here. We're going to show people mm -hmm. a, an idea of this conversation, which some might find a bit shocking, but this might have been uh, cathartic for you. But let's put up this first one, a part of the conversation where you, Susan, are saying to God in this therapy session, what the blank, God? And God tells you, shut the blank up. Uh, now, to put it in those types of terms, um, yeah. do you think a lot of people go through kind of the same things you go through, and this is just a very literal and real-world way of having that conversation and getting past this? I, I think it's very important for us to be honest with God. He knows everything that's in our heart anyway, um, and he wants, he wants to take that on. I mean, part of really becoming real with God is being as honest as you can, and He can take that. If He's a God of love and He's all powerful and He's all knowing, there ain't no reason to hide what you're thinking. <laughs> all right, and something else. We'll, we'll continue with this conversation yeah. here. We'll show mm -hmm. something else from the from the book. Uh, something having to do with sex, a part of your conversation. Mm -hmm. God yeah. saying to you, "I don't have a problem with sex. I invented it, didn't I? I did not design mm -hmm. the body to be celibate at 40." You then say, therein lies the conflict. God says to you, it's your messed up culture that has set that conflict, not me. Please go have sex. Live out Song of Solomon. Only do it married. Now, what are you hoping people, and, and by, again, it might sound kind of shocking to some people to see it in these terms, but what are you hoping folks will get from your book? I'm hoping that people can bring all of whatever their cares are. Obviously, everyone's under a lot of emotional stress. And we've maybe set up our life in a way that we God's on the side. And we can use these opportunities in our life right now to get honest. And like the issue with intimate relationships, I think our culture has set up a, a bad dynamic where we try to postpone adulthood until we're 50. Mm. But our body is designed to be in relationship and be married and have great sex um, at 18. So we've set up a conflict. And I hope that people take away from my book that you can bring, whether it's um, an emotional crisis, an economic crisis that brings that on, wow. that God is with us in the midst of these things. He's not an ATM. Well, it's He's not designed <laughs> to take things, you know, to basically give us what we want. But mm. he, he wants us to build our character. Mm. And he does want us to have a happy life. He well, does. The book is called Angry Conversations, but again, like you said, you have reconciled. We have to let you go we here. Have, but you have reconciled. We worked our problems out. So the therapy session was good for you, Susan Isaac. We appreciate you, you taking time. This book got our attention. Uh, good luck with it, but really, pleasure talking to you. You Thank take care. Thank you so much, TJ. All right, Betty. Mm -hmm.